INSAR for Ground Deformation Monitoring, an effective approach in construction projects. ATLAS is Success's interferometric processing chain. It has been developed to detect and monitor ground motions such as subsidence, heave, building stability, or landslide. It has been specially developed to monitor civil engineering projects with a focus on urban construction and tunneling. ATLAS complements traditional in situ instrumentation and overcomes some of its limitations. The availability of historical data allows performing retrospective analysis. It provides a wide view of the construction site. It is a cost-effective tool for long-term monitoring. In this presentation, Various site examples show how ATLAS has been used in large construction projects around the world to monitor different tunneling and construction work phases. A critical phase to be monitored in tunneling projects is the axis shaft excavation, which usually includes dewatering. Dewatering has shown on numerous occasions an impact over long distances. They can be covered by INSAR due to the large size of satellite images also overcoming the problem of loss of references for the ground instrumentation. This example corresponds to the shaft excavation in Paris, whose dewatering caused subsidence of up to 50 millimeters in four months. This example shows the importance of the Atlas nonlinear processing algorithms. Another critical phase in tunneling projects is during the excavation, when satellite measurements are used to check any widening of the settlement inside and outside the planned zone of interest as a backup and verification for ground instruments. ATLAS was and is used to monitor the Crossrail project. Crossrail is one of the major worldwide tunneling projects, constructing a new 42-kilometer railway line crossing Greater London. INSAR monitoring has been performed using high-resolution Terrasar X imagery acquired over London since August 2013. INSAR results were used to check the settlement associated to the loss of volume during perforation, as observed in the map. At the beginning of the works, a dewatering was carried out in the limo area, which produced very large deformations. Starting in August 2013, most of the area was stable, thus depicted in green over the map. Four months later, two wells started pumping water, and deformation started in areas near the wells. In the time series on the right, you can observe how the point marked with the star is affected by water extraction. Later, a third well was added and settlement increased, reaching its maximum magnitude around March 2015, with settlement up to 35 millimeters. In July 2015, one of the wells stopped its activity and the area started to heave. After cessation of the activity in the three wells, the time series finally stabilizes. In summary, the Atlas INSAR study showed that the affected area was at least 2.5 kilometers wide, much more than what was expected, a maximum sediment of up to 35 millimeters, areas where settlement was greater than expected, activities affecting the ground stability of other projects, such as the lead tunnel alignment. A geological fault was detected precisely due to the differences in ground behavior. Finally, upon termination of the works, satellite measurements provide a technically and financially efficient way of controlling long-term movement stabilization. This map was derived using Terrasar X data in descending orbit, showing a deformation of up to 20 mm in subsidence and 10 in uplift. Two different movements depicted in red when moving away from the satellite and in blue towards the satellite suggest a convergence in the direction of the arrows. Movement shows stabilization in the last dates as the red lines show in the time series. Thank you very much.